The quest is complete. I have all 16 regional decks from Italy. It wasn't easy. It wasn't cheap, but I did it. The Holy Grail is here. Maybe this means nothing to anybody but me, but who cares? I did it. And for those few of us out there who care about this kind of thing, this is for you. Hi, welcome to Playing Games. I'm Chris, and today we're going to unbox some playing cards. This video is a continuing look at the Italian regional card decks. Over the course of 16 short videos, I will be opening all of the Italian regional packs, and we'll go over what makes these unique masterpieces tick. Let's go! Today we're going to look at the Torino-based Piemontese deck. So here is my box of all 16 decks. This was not easy to get, but they have been united, reunited. Here they are. Let's find the Piemontese one. Here we are. So here it is, the Piemontese deck. Let's check these out. These were pretty hard to get. I found them in a shop in Rome. Generally, these are pretty difficult to find. If you're in Torino, sure, you'll probably find them. And here's the wrapper, still in the shrink wrap. So this is the Piemontese deck, and it's from the Alpine region of Piemont. And the main city is Torino. So these are gonna be French suited. That means they're gonna look like the, uh, you know, poker cards you're probably used to seeing. This is a 40 card deck, so that means that the 8s, 9s, and 10s will not be in here. This isn't your typical Italian deck. What we think of as Italian suits, the coins, the cups, the swords, and the sticks or bastone. It's a French style deck. It suits our hearts, diamonds, spades, and clovers. And so at the end you see there are two instruction cards for Briscola and Scopa. So this is meant to be used with Italian games. That's why there are 40 cards. You may have noticed the aces have an oval crested frame, all except for the ace of hearts. The reason for that, the ace of hearts was this deck's stamp tax card, and that would have had a special stamp put here instead. The face cards are mirrored. That means that they are the same both ways. Because you know, when you are playing poker, you don't wanna do this, because then people will know you have a face card. All right, let's measure these cards. They feel small and a little tall. And tall is a typical uh, Italian trait for cards. The poker cards you're probably used to are a little bit wider and less tall. These are small and tall, 50 and a half millimeters. The height is 83 and a half. There's your ratio if you're, you're curious about that. This deck likely came into being in the early 1800s. The Piemonte region was briefly annexed by France in 1802, but it didn't last that long. The timing was important though for the stack of cards because Paris was pumping out a new style of playing cards, which came to dominate the world. This was the Paris pattern, and it would have been used by all the French military and in their annexed regions too. Torino was a good prize for the French, and the Paris pattern, because of the French influence under Napoleon, this deck is probably a testament to his influence in Piemonte. The Paris pattern became really popular throughout Europe, and they pretty much became the dominant deck, which spread to England and then came to the Americas. So when somebody says, hey, that's an American poker deck, it's actually a French poker deck. I really do like how crisp and clean these cards look. They're a great cleaned up representation of what the Paris pattern was. The court cards are fantastic. They're such a nice reworking of the original French court cards. You'll notice these figures from my face cards video. The Jacks are Le Hire, Ogier the Dane, Hector, and Lancelot. The Queens are Judith, Rachel, Athena, and Argene. And the Kings are Charlemagne, Caesar, Alexander the Great, and King David. You won't see any of the typical Italian flourishes on this deck. There aren't too many distracting frills or shrouded secrets. Usually you have a four card with something in the middle, it's either the hearts or the four of diamonds or coins. This does not have that. There aren't any figures, there are no couples, dogs, armies, anything like that on these. These are just straight up the suits. There are no numbers either, which makes it nice and clean and crisp. I enjoy that about it. And if you had to play with French suits, this isn't a bad choice. It's very clean and clear and fun. A good bridge between the French suited poker cards and the Italian cards because you have a deck that's ready to play 
Briscoe or Scopa, you don't have to remove cards, but it might be a little disappointing for those who want that authentic Italian feel. I've been to Torino three times and it's an incredible city. The snow-capped Alps are visible to the north. The mighty Po River runs along the city. It's absolutely worth a visit. Don't think that because the Piemonte region uses the French suited deck, they didn't take pride in the more Italian style deck. There is actually one other Piemonte deck. It's not one of the 16 regional ones, but it's the Piemonte tarot deck. And that has the Italian style suits. And the Piemontese still have a strong regional pride in that Italian style playing card. If you don't believe me, check this out. During the closing ceremony of the 2006 Winter Olympics, which was hosted in Torino of the Italian Piemonte region, guess what the dancers were dressed as? Yep, a hundred or so Torlin Piemontese playing cards. I highly recommend you watch this one-of-a-kind shuffle dance playing card LARPing sequence. It starts around the 14 minute mark and it's a, well, it's special. Information is scant when it comes to regional decks. So if this is your region, you're from Torino, or you know a lot about this deck, please share what you know in the comments and I'll do my best to keep that knowledge alive. This is just one of Italy's many regional decks and you can see all the other regions right here on Playing Games. Please comment, like, and subscribe to help this channel grow. Also, help support the hard work that goes into these videos by digitally donating to the channel. You are great.